The following video demonstrates the setup for one of our projects at Michigan State University studying winter annual weed seed germination and decay. This is the final year of the two-year project, which was funded by the North Central Integrated Pest Management Competitive Grants Program. Winter annual weeds generally germinate in the fall and flower and produce seed in the spring. Though winter annual weeds are present when most field crops are not, they can still be an issue because many can serve as alternate hosts or overwintering sites for crop pests and diseases. One example is field pennycress, pictured here, which can be an alternate host for the soybean cyst nematode. For the purposes of this study, we are examining four winter annual weed species. Common chickweed, which is low growing and produces small, bumpy orange and brown seeds the size of the head of a pin. Henbit, a member of the mint family, is also low growing and produces pinkish purple flowers. The seeds of henbit resemble spotted footballs with one flattened side. Field pennycress, a member of the mustard family, has a sulfur-like odor when crushed. The seeds of pennycress are black and have an impression that resembles a thumbprint. Finally, shepherd's purse, another member of the mustard family, has the smallest seeds of the winter annual weeds studied at about the size of a fine point pen tip. To study the germination and decay of these weeds, we created steel framed cages. In the germination area of the cages, we covered the sides with a fine mesh tent screening and buried the cage sides to prevent seed movement during the year-long experiment. The germination of these winter annuals is being followed for one year starting at the end of seed dispersal. In early June, we placed the cages in an empty field at the Michigan State University agronomy farm. In the germination area, we spread 500 seeds of one of the species of interest. After the seeds begin to germinate, we will record emergence every two to three weeks and remove the seedlings that have emerged. Each species studied has four replications. In the smaller portion of our cages, we will study the decay of winter annual seeds over time. Before placing the cages outside, small mesh bags containing 50 grams of soil and 100 seeds of a weed species were prepared and strung with nylon twine. Once the cages are in place, the seed bags are placed at one of three depths in the soil profile. Four bags are placed on the soil surface using anchor pins. Another four bags are placed one inch below the soil surface. The final four bags are placed four inches below the soil surface using a golf cup cutter. Every three months, a set of bags will be recovered and the seeds will be evaluated for decay. Understanding the fate of winter annual weed seeds will provide insight into their importance in agricultural systems and help improve cultural, biological, mechanical, and chemical management strategies.